Hello everybody. Somblasom asked if I could show how to model a teapot or a coffee pot. I think the techniques are for both pretty much the same. So let's start. I start with a <coughs> cylinder with 24 sides and make it 200 by 200 millimeters, put everything in the middle, A key to center the view, then I go to fall off linear, make a linear fall off, R key and bring it out a bit in the bottom to make it more like the shape pots, teapots usually have. So drop the tool, get rid of the fall off, now C key for edge slice, then I slice an edge in here, drop the tool, select one of the halves and delete it. I think I show the words, so I select these three vertices here, R key, flatten them out, W key, and bring them to about here. Then convert the selection to an edge with ALT 2, set key, and bring down a little lip here. Next C key again, I cut in an edge in here, Select it, R key, make sure it's flat, like so. Then I separate this geometry, control X, control V. Now we have two different parts. Okay. Um, now I can select these edges here up arrow key, then select these three here as well, go to uh, duplicate, radial sweep, we can select edges from a plane or a geometry to do sweeps as well, not only uh, curves. So action center origin around the Y with 24 and apply. Good perspective. I can delete this and press the F key and get rid of the words again. Now front view edge mode, I select all these edges in here, top view, set key and click in the viewport to activate the tool, R key and on the green circle bring this in to about here. Perspective again, tab key to go to sub D mode and then I can select an edge in here and one in here, Alt C with a count of 2 and symmetry and make this maybe 10%. Drop the tool, drop the helix generator, let me go to the lists tab here. Okay, next I think I will put an edge in here edge at loop to accentuate this lip a little bit more and put another one in here like about so yes we don't need to see this or let's see what I did here Twenty-four words, so I put them together into one. 
and we probably have the same up here as well. Yes. Good. Now I select this vertex and hit the bevel key and bevel it out to about here. Drop the tool, select this polygon and delete it. Front view again, A key and I have 24. Yes, so let me select a globe with 24 sides, 8 segments, that sounds good. And control left click and bring it out to about. Mm, Maybe it's a bit too big. Let's make this 28 millimeters. Yes, drop the tool. Now I select this one. Center selected in the X and the Z. W key, bring it a bit. Now maybe I should remove these polys here. W key, again, and bring it closer, perspective, go out of sub D mode, select this row of edges and this one, and bridge it together. Good. Okay, that starts to look like a pot. Now I go to front view. And I think I put the grip in from here to here. So bevel this, but with group polygons activated, bevel it in the bit, go out of sub D mode, good. Top view again, and now I Take a cylinder with six sides, control, bring it out about here, yeah, about this size, perspective again, good, select this poly and these polygons and go to bridge them, but with, let's see, two, three segments and a little bit of tension. Maybe we start with 50%. Click in the viewport. Yes, why not? Let's see. Yeah, do the same here and bridge. I think this needs a little bit of tweaking on this edge here. W key, bring it up a bit like so. Then I select this here, R key on the green circle to make it a bit smaller. Like so. How does this look? It looks like a handle. But I think we also need to make it a bit smaller here. Yeah. And this one as well. R key. Action center. Local. Let's see. Yeah, that's good. Fine. Good. Then, I uh, don't even know how this is called in English. You know, the thing where the coffee or the tea comes out. 
bevel it in a bit out of sub D mode. Um, this time we have eight edges. Top view again. That's the wrong one. So B for bevel, bevel it in a bit, drop the tool out of sub D mode, top view, and now I need a circle with eight sides, about here, pretty close I think, select this one and center select it in the X side view mm, that's quite big R key make it a bit smaller like so perspective select these alt Q is my shortcut for the bridge tool I think I only need two segments and I can rotate this a bit E key W key yeah that looks better now I select this polygon R key to make it a bit smaller then shift X and bring this out like so. E key, rotate it slightly, shift X again and bring it up to here. And let's see perspective B for bevel. Bevel it in, shift click, bevel it down, W key, and put it inside here and delete. Perspective, let's see how this looks. Yeah, that's too thin for pottery, so I put in an edge or two edges in here, maybe not, maybe a bit like so. I can select these polys, W key, and move them up a bit. So, yeah, that's it. <coughs> now, top view and then shift click here it will create a new mesh with a plane in it r key make this quite a bit bigger uh, select it m for material floor side view w key bring it down to about here then um, go to the original mesh, M key, call this uh, pot. Now we can go to the render tab, bring this a bit closer in the view, like so. Yeah, why not? Then I go to the render, turn on global illumination, enlarge the frame a bit like 1666 to 888. Then put uh, the water texture into the floor. I like this reflection and go to 
metal brass and make a nice brass texture for the pot and a layout the this one load yes and render this out and here it is our finished tea or coffee pot thanks for watching take care and have fun modeling with modo and see you some other time